Hey everyone, it's Augustus and the newest Hydro Carrier 3rd Nuvolet is finally out and in today's video we will be talking about the essentials of Nuvolet's builds, weapons, team comps, and more. If you guys enjoy videos like these, make sure to subscribe and now let's actually get into the video. Nuvolet is an on-field Hydro DPS that is reliant on his charge attack and his kit scales with HP scaling. And his kit allows him to self-heal and drains his HP at the same time. His skill does HP scaling Hydro damage to opponents in an AoE that triggers Nimosa. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, but Nimosa, I believe is what it's called. When hidden, when hidden an enemy, it summons three water droplets, which can be absorbed by using his charge attack. And it also shortens the charge time of his charge attack. His elemental burst, which does HP scaling AoE hydro damage, and three waterfalls, one big one and two smaller ones, which will summon six water droplets. Like I mentioned prior, the water droplets are the key to enhancing his charge attack. His charge attack takes 4 seconds to form the seal and enhance his charge attack to shorten the charge time for the seal. He can absorb 3 water droplets to speed up the charging time. You may have realized that Hydro Traveler also creates the dew drops, but you don't necessarily want to run him with Nubulet since the team just won't work with Hydro MC. His charge attack lasts for 3 seconds and does HP scaling damage every 0 0.5 seconds and for those asking you do not have to hold left click after charging the seal fully. And it lasts only for 3 seconds, so you will have to restart the charging time. So self-healing, when he absorbs the water droplets, he heals 16% of his max HP. And if his HP is higher than 50% during his charge attack, he will lose 8% of HP every 0.5 seconds. But don't worry, he is able to survive on his own with his self-healing. You are able to absorb the water droplets from a pretty far distance. The only issue of his charge attack is that he doesn't gain interruption resist, so you may want shielders for him on his team to protect him from getting interrupted. I don't know if I mentioned this prior, but for talent leveling, I do recommend charge attacks probably um, as your main focus, as his normal attack is the only thing you're mostly using. But you also do want to put maybe the skill and ultimate about equal it still does damage and obviously he's relying on those cooldowns for the droplets to spawn and more damage overall is just good in general so those are the talent level up priority that, that would give i want to quickly go over the weapons and all their uses for nuva led obviously his best in slot weapon is going to be his signature of tome of eternal flow um, it overall increases HP, uh, whenever he, he uses the charge attack, it'll get an increased amount of damage whenever his HP either increases or, or decreases from his self-healing. And obviously this can stack three times. As well, it allows for energy restoration, which could be an issue for those that don't have enough energy recharge on them. I do want to quickly go over other options. Obviously, you can go with the other five-star Weapons that are catalysts, such as, you know, Kagura's Verity, I believe is what it's called. It's the Aimiku's weapon. Uh, you could run, like, um, if you want to, you could run the other catalysts that give you crit rate and crit damage, like Lost Prayer, as well, as well as, like, the Bell from Wander. There are a bunch of other options for Vicers, so you can obviously put them on there. I do not suggest putting, like, like Nahida's weapon because it gives EM or attack percent from memory of dust. Okay, I don't know why you would be using this, but I'll do you. Um, for free to play options, I'm gonna stick to uh prototype Ember because it increases your HP easily refinable, so it is worth it if you're gonna be crafting weapons. But all I can say is just ensure you have enough crit rate and crit damage for the proc, as well as the Marshwase Hunter buff that it gives you crit rate. Um, overall. Another good option that I'm currently running is the Woodstiff. It is easily refinable. It also gives crit damage. So that is another option. Uh, out of those two, I would recommend probably Prototype Amber if you have enough crit stats and you could just scale the HP for his damage. Uh, another option would be the new Ballad of the Boundless Blue, which is currently in the event. Uh, it will probably be completed in either a day or two for it to be able to get full refinement. Uh, it gives you energy recharge and within 6 seconds after normal or charge attacks hit an opponent, the normal attack damage will be increased by 12% and charge attack damage will be increased by 9% and max of 3 stacks. 
So overall, this one is also good for the damage. Uh, there are also, according to the battle pass, which are the solar pearl. This one overall, I feel like it's really good. That you could use if you're gonna spend. I wouldn't really recommend spending on the battle pass, but if you have it and you want to use it, you can. Uh, the other would be sacrificial chain. I wouldn't really get it for the effect because of the elemental mastery. Obviously, it's fine to work with him for the gem because he is Hydra and he could create bloom. But overall, I wouldn't really recommend it because it's more of a on, not an on field weapon. So and you want him to be on field. So overall, this just feels a little like counterintuitive for him. And that will basically be covering his weapons. Obviously, you can be seeing the constellations on screen right now. I'm not going to be reading them all out because that is like a whole paragraph that I'm going to go through. Um, overall, I do want to go over the C1 because it is rather significant because it gives him interruption resist. And overall, that is good. Obviously, uh, yeah, you've probably seen a lot of probable streamers wailing on the game and wailing for him. And he is pretty OP when he's E6. So, either way, up to you if you're going to spend on him. But besides that, he's pretty OP. He can still will the Abyss on his own. And that'll be basically it. Let's talk about his artifacts for set options. His best set is for piece Marchoise Hunter, which Marchoise Hunter, which increases normal and charge attack damage by 15% for the two piece. And for the four piece bonus, it's when his current HP increases or decreases, his crit rate will be increased by 12% for 5 seconds, and this stacks fully on 3 stacks. Other other options could be Wanderers, 4-piece Nymphstream, 4-piece Retracing Bolide, or you can mix and match stats to give you HP% percent and Hydra damage as well. Set-wise, you're going to want HP% percent since his damage scales off of HP, but not only that, you want crit rate and crit damage plus the 36% that you get from the Mara Chauce Hunter set, and some energy recharge wouldn't be bad to ensure that he gets his burst up. And he, um, it's also not a bad stat on him, but you most likely won't want that. You want HP% percent Sands, either HP% percent Goblet or a Hydro Damage Goblet, that's up to you. For Circulate, you either want Crit Rate or Crit Damage. When it comes to substats, you mostly want to focus on HP% percent Crit Rate and Crit Damage. Finally, let's talk about the teams you want to run with Nouvellet. Obviously, you can run Bloom teams with him and Elo. He, and he does gain the extra HP for the Hydra bonus. You can also run Vaporize teams with Shang Ling, Bennett, and Kozla. You can also run Deha, but why would you want to do that? Just wait until she gets, like, buffed. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I can't. I can't take that seriously. Uh, but I, I did want to mention that. You can also run electric support system like Beidou, Fischl, and obviously any animal support. It's great, as rolling reactions and grouping enemies like Venti, Cosmo, and Sucrose. You can also run Cryo teams with him, but have the Cryo Applicator more as a support, like Layla, Rosaria, and Diona. You can also possibly run Ganyu just for her burst damage and the Cryo Application in general, but that's all up to you. Your support's like, you can run Hyper Bloom with Nahida, Raiden, or Kuki, but you might have noticed that most teams have a shielder, which I want to mention. Is a must have on his team since his charge attack can be interrupted, so having shielders is amazing, like Long Lee, Kira, Layla, and Toma. And before we get into the DPS showcases, you know, my characters aren't fully built, I am free to play. Uh, I do want to say that you guys have probably seen a lot of Abyss showcases showing them soloing the Abyss, at least maybe the second half of it. You can. Oh, just no, he's that amazing of a unit, of a character that you can pull for. Unless you want to save for fearing now, but that's all up to you. Now back to the video. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all. Trust, yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Don't forget to click that like button and consider subscribing if you want more content like this. Also, sorry if I sound different. I'm currently sick. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys either in the next stream on Twitch or in the next videos. And hopefully you guys have an amazing day. Peace.